thanks for choosing Drive Medical. Please enjoy this short overview on the features of the Drive Medical Oxygen Regulator and some brief troubleshooting topics. Please be sure to reference the user manual for a full description of the proper use of your regulator. Should you have additional questions, please contact your equipment provider. Oxygen regulators are designed to administer a set flow of supplemental oxygen as prescribed by your physician because you're not receiving enough oxygen from room air alone. Drive Medical offers a variety of regulators. Your equipment provider will determine the best regulator for your needs. Let's go through the major parts of your regulator. The T-handle is used to tighten the regulator onto the cylinder. The alignment pins help properly mount the regulator onto the cylinder. The seal washer minimizes leaks between the regulator and the cylinder. The hose barb connects to your oxygen cannula so you may receive the prescribed amount of oxygen. The pressure gauge displays the remaining pressure in the cylinder. When the gauge reads in the red, be sure to change your cylinder. The flow selector will adjust the liters per minute provided through the regulator and into your cannula. This should be set by your equipment provider as prescribed by your physician. Now let's go through the setup of your regulator. Inspect the cylinder per the manufacturer's instructions for damage, as well as any debris near the valve seat. Inspect the regulator for oil or grease. Do not use the regulator if visible. Inspect that the seal washer is in place and appears to be in good condition. Slip the yoke over the cylinder valve and align the pins with the holes on the cylinder. Turn the T-handle clockwise until the screw is seated on the dimple. Finally, hand tighten the T-handle to ensure a good fit. Make sure the regulator is in the off position and level on the cylinder valve. Slowly turn the cylinder valve handle counterclockwise, opening the cylinder. You should hear the cylinder pressurize the regulator. If you do not hear a leak, affix the cannula and adjust the flow selector to the prescribed setting. If you hear a hissing sound, it is possible the seal washer is damaged or the regulator is improperly aligned on the cylinder. Turn off the cylinder by turning the valve clockwise. Remove the regulator and inspect the seal washer. If it is missing or damaged, contact your equipment provider for a replacement. If it appears to be in good condition, attempt to reattach the regulator using the alignment pins to ensure a proper seal. Be sure the regulator is level on the cylinder valve. If a hissing sound or leak is still present, contact your equipment provider. Never attempt to repair a regulator or cylinder yourself. It is important you maintain a safe environment for you and your loved ones. Do not expose to an open flame. Do not use while smoking or near smokers. And do not use oils anywhere on the unit. Please refer to your user manual for a full description of warnings, cautions, and directions for use. If you have any questions, contact your equipment provider for assistance. Thank you for choosing Drive Medical.